lesson on the bee. Here is the fuzzy part. Here is the painful part. Ow! <laughs> but if I'm going to show you the funny part, I'll have to take you back to last year's career day. That's the day the kids demonstrate what they'll do when they grow up. Alex wanted to be an Olympic gold medalist. Iggy wanted to be an accountant. Uh, it's not exactly a spectator sport. Vanessa wanted to be Queen of England. You see, she believes anything is possible. But Binky's career choice really surprised me. When I grow up, I want to be hip camp counselor, just like John. Well, <laughs> Binky, if you like, uh, I'll teach you some of the tricks of the trade. <laughs> Gee. Wow, cool. Binky's new career started early the next morning. Very early. Binky, Binky, come on. Time to get up. Uh-huh. It's the middle of the night. Okay, Binky, it's the head counselor's job to wake the rooster. Time to get up, Mr. Rooster. Get up. It's the middle of the night. <laughs> Binky and I weren't the only ones to get up early that morning. <sighs> What's happening, boss? It's the middle of the night. We've got a lot to do today, Chester. In fact, you and I will be busy as bees. Back at the camp, Binky was quickly learning how it feels to be head counselor. <laughs> on our brains, that our minds, of us. Well, you know what I mean. I, I hope you do. Chester, you are about to witness the key to taking over Camp Candy. <laughs> wow, boss, that's a honey of a bee. Honey, indeed. This stinger is really an antenna, which will transmit conversations from Camp Candy to this receiver. You can listen in, Chester. We'll learn all of Candy's little secrets. And once I discover his weak spot, I can use it to my advantage. Well, uh, testing, testing. Uh, one, uh, two... Uh, uh, don't tell me. Uh, testing, testing. One, two... Uh... One, two... Three, four... <sighs> yeah, I think you got the hang of it now, Bink. Why don't uh, you lead the calisthenics? Okay, everybody, right hand on your nose, left hand above your head. Now, hop like a bunny. One, two, three, four. Make it burn. Two, three, four. I'm here, boss. Can you hear me? Roger. Uh, Roger's not here, boss. Just me, Jester. Never mind, you moron. Just listen. I'm in the truck half a mile from Camp Candy. I'm sending the bee now. Do you read me? Uh, well, I can read, but I don't have a book. Never mind, Roger. Uh, I mean, Chester. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, no, it's a giant bee. 
these were bad, but this one was a monster. Uh, I didn't have time to check it out, though. Run for your life! Clear the way! Whoa, help! Whoa! Hey, holy smoke! Chester, do you see it? Come in, please! Chester! Chester! Do you read me, Chester? Are you telling me there's a pony impersonating one of us? I won't have it. Go and tell the big log to pass off now. It's not easy living with a bunch of drones. After some strenuous exercise running from the giant bee, Binky and I decided to give rowing lessons on the lake. This is hard work. Easy does it, Pinky. Slow and steady wins the race. Are you ready, Chester? Ready, boss. That's the me. My motto is be prepared. Get it, boss? Be prepared. <laughs> yeah. My arms are tired. You're doing great, Pinky. <laughs> We tried to forget about that mysterious giant bee on our afternoon hike to Corkscrew Crest. Oh, here we go again! Slide for your life! I'll say one thing. The way down was a lot faster than the way up. safer inside than outside, so Binky and I held an indoor basket weaving demonstration. <laughs> to be or not to be, <laughs> defeated by a bee. That is the question. <laughs> so that's how you play your game. Be gone, foolish bee. Take that. Transmitter. Where did it come from? Only one place I can think of, and this bee is going right back there. After I made a few adjustments to the mechanical bee, Rex's pride and joy made a bee line for home. Uh, gee, boss, uh, did we ever find John's weak spot? No, but we found my weak spot. You! Gee, thanks, boss. Boss, he's back. <laughs> Well, good night, Bink. You gotta admit, being head counselor's an exciting job, isn't it? 
I'm almost fine, but I think I changed my mind about what I want to do when I grow up. Really? Yeah! I want to be a beekeeper! Out here in the rugged wilderness surrounding Camp Candy, there's no shortage of wildlife. We've got squirrels and rabbits and bears. <laughs> Lots of bears. Um, four. And we've got hoot owls. Boy, have we got hoot owls. Let's see if I got this thing right. A birdie goes tweet, tweet, and a canary sings. That's right. I forgot. What do owls do again? Who? Owls. What do owls say? Who? Mm, you're not paying attention. That's the sound they make. Who? Exactly. I'm not doing this bit with you anymore. Hey, we even got moose. That mooses. Well, maybe just that one moose. But one time at Camp Candy, we had an animal that was really wild. I mean, wild. <laughs> <laughs> Not that wild. <laughs> oh, close one. Hoo -hoo. It all started on an ordinary day. Granny Knot delivered the mail as usual. Morning, Granny. Morning, John. Looks like your camper's got plenty of letters from home. Great. Say, who's your passenger? That's my granddaughter, Polly. She's visiting me for a while. Nice to meet you, Polly. I'm John. Polly can't hear you, John. She's deaf. Here, I'll introduce you. Meet my friend, John. Say, Granny, could Polly stay at Camp Candy for the weekend? I'll ask. It's a deal. I'll bring her on Saturday. And tell her we'll have lots of fun. See? I told you there was a wild animal in this story. <laughs> you didn't believe me. <laughs> anyway, I got a book on sign language from the library and started the campers on a crash course to surprise Polly. Who? Who? Weird. Weird. Oh, no. I have to get help, Mimi. Stay here. I'll be back. You've probably heard of Mimi, the famous gorilla whose owner, Dr. Taylor, taught her sign language. Well, when Mimi was left alone near Camp Candy, she got lonely, so she decided to do some exploring. <laughs> Okay, now, everybody, follow these instructions. Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> well, if you say so. Come on, guys. But the uh, kids, wait! Hey! All right! <laughs> well, John said go jump in the lake. I thought I said go eat the cake. Gee, I guess sign language is harder than it looks. Mimi! Oh, Mimi, where are you? Mimi! Mimi! Back to Camp Candy, our sign language lessons continued from morning till night. Uh, well, if you say so. <laughs> uh, uh, girls, I, I said turn out the light. Oh, I thought you said have a pillow fight. Oops. Hoot, hoot, hoot. While we were tucked in our cozy beds that oh, night, no. Mimi the gorilla wasn't sleeping at all. The next morning, we were all excited about our newest camper. Okay, kids, let's give Polly a big camp candy welcome. <laughs> Uh, gee, she, she has a good sense of humor. <laughs> Would you like a tour of the camp? 
<laughs> well, at least Polly was happy to be at Camp Candy. Polly laughed her way through calisthenics. <laughs> and she giggled her way through lunch. <laughs> but Mimi the gorilla wasn't laughing in her new surroundings. I've got to tell you, that's the weirdest looking bear I've ever seen. I mean that. Now, let's see now. I got two jacks and one gorilla. One, two. A gorilla. A gorilla. A gorilla. A gorilla. A gorilla. Finally, it was time for our nature walk. We made a rule that the only way any of the campers could communicate was through sign language. Polly turned out to be a real nature lover. <laughs> That's right. It was struck by lightning. <laughs> I sure wish I knew it was so funny. Now, why don't you ask her, John? Okay, I'll, uh, I'll try. <laughs> why laugh? I'm strong. Well, yeah, I, I'm pretty strong, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was beginning to see the problem. Polly was telling me that the signs I'd been making were wrong. <laughs> no wonder she's been laughing, John. We got all the signs mixed up. I guess I'd laugh, too. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what we really said to her. Let's see. Oh, oh, teach! <laughs> She's going to teach us the right way. Things went better from then on. Polly was a good teacher. And she was a heck of a hiker, too. But while we were hiking and signing, we never realized there was a wild animal lurking in the bushes. Okay, okay, so she wasn't wild. <laughs> but she was watching. I was right there. Ah! Um, uh, hot? No, no, no. Tired, tired. You're tired. <laughs> Uh, I'll check it out. <laughs> After spotting the wild gorilla, I hurried the campers down the trail back to Camp Candy. <laughs> What's the matter? <sighs> Polly's missing. We've got to go back. I was really worried about Polly. I mean, a deaf girl, alone in the wilderness, with a wild, untamed gorilla on the loose. But I didn't need to worry. Polly and Mimi were becoming fast friends. Hi. Polly didn't trust my sign language, <laughs> so she wrote out the story just as Mimi told her. It's okay, everybody. It's fine. The police are notifying Dr. Taylor. She'll be here soon to pick up Mimi. Lady, come soon. <laughs> Guess I still need some practice. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, thank you for finding Mimi. I was so worried. Ditto for finding Polly. Now I can take her home. Stay? Oh, she wants to stay. Oh, so does Mimi. You, you can, can stay. stay. Polly and Mimi stayed for a few more days. They learned a lot of new camping skills. And we all had a swinging time. <laughs> you get it, swinging? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Eventually, I did learn one word in sign language. 
friend. Anyway, a hug means friend in any language. Right, Mimi?